touchdown attempts this season. This is a fourth and three. Mahungu in motion. And here's the pitch. Left side is Knox hit. Keeps his feet and keeps on running. DJ Knox the five. Touchdown Purdue. Denied. That was all DJ Knox originally stopped short of the first down, spun out of a tackle. They'll watch who gets he gets caught near the first down marker right there. Stanley Green comes in, pops him, but nobody wraps him up and knocks it 5 7 2. So third and goal. Quarterback is Jeff George Jr. Illinois one time out remaining. George steps up in trouble. Back at the 14-yard line by Lorenzo Neal. Sacks have been tough to come by for this Purdue defense. Just the 11th all year near the bottom of the Big Ten in that category. But on third and goal, Neal got through. Nick Holt loves to bring pressure on third down to disrupt. He disrupts Jeff George with the pressure to his left. And Neal's able to work through the block. All 325 pounds of them. Those big fellas don't get many sacks, but when they do, it's a celebration. So you watch here. They bring the pressure with Bailey. He just works off Palcheski. Neil does. Defeats the block. Big sack. Through in motion. Second down. Thomas throwing. Hit. And Bailey with a sack. Marcus Bailey, the sophomore linebacker, got free. And he sacks Thomas. Fifth sack of the year. You talk about Kendrick Foster getting the start. You can't just run the ball. You have to be better at pass protection. And you'll see Marcus Bailey just straight up beat the one-on-one -on -one block of Kendrick Foster. Bailey, a very adept at blitzing at the bottom of your screen. Foster's going to come across Thomas's face to block and doesn't get his eyes on. David Blau on third and short. Sindelar keeping, rolling, now throwing. End zone caught. Touchdown, Hopkins. Touchdown, Purdue. Herdman, not Hopkins, 88, not 89. Well, David Blau couldn't see it, but he could hear it. It's a critical third down for Illinois. So Jeff George Jr. Pressure coming. George throws, and that's intercepted by Thieleman. The turnover drought ends for Purdue. They had gone back-to-back -back games without one. They get one there. George picked off for the eighth time this season. Thieneman with a sack and now a pick today. And Jacob Thieneman just baited Jeff George into this. It looked like Thieneman was going to play the flat route on Dorsey. And then late, he dropped back. And George never saw Thieneman as he stepped in front of Reeves for the pick. That's the same play that Kamal Hardy missed against Nebraska. You'll see George here. Pressure from Robinson is able to step up, though. And it was Thieneman who fell back in coverage against Caleb Reeves. Now watch this. You'll see Thieneman looks like he's going to come up, and then he drops back late. George never sees him. It's picked off. Kamal Hardy dropped that pick twice against Nebraska. That's the play they called this. The winning strike to Morgan. 14 seconds to play. Nebraska winning by one. Sindelar throwing deep down the sideline, and it's going to be pulled in inside the five-yard line. Gregory Phillips with a one-arm snag. First and goal, Purdue. For as bad as Purdue's been at catching the ball. We've seen with Burgess, and now we've seen it with Phillips. One of the better catches you'll see. Great bar by, ball by Sindelar. Just throws it up, gives a chance to Phillips to make a play, and sticks out one arm as he goes to the ground and brings the other one late to get both hands under the ball. Going one-on-one -on -one with Jalen Dudlap. Asking Jeff, sorry, Jay, asking Jeff Rama. Purdue can put this one away. Second and goal. It's worship. The carry. The end zone. Touchdown, Boilermakers. Off 
the turnover. 